Welcome to level two linear equations. Let's do a problem. So 2x plus 3 is equal to minus 15. I'll throw the minus in there to make it a little bit tougher. So the first thing we want to do whenever we do any linear equation is we want to get all of the variable terms on one hand side of the equation and all the constant terms on the other side. It doesn't really matter, although I tend to get my variables on the left hand side of the equation. Well, the only thing, the, my variables are already already on the left hand side of the equation, but I have this plus 3 that I somehow want to move to the right hand side of the equation. And the way I can, you can put it in quotes, move the 3 is I could subtract 3 from both sides of this equation. And, and look at that carefully as to why you think that works. Because if I subtract 3 from the left hand side, clearly this negative 3 that I'm subtracting in the original 3 will cancel out and become 0. And as long as I do whatever I do on the left hand side, as long as I do it on the right hand side as well, because uh, whatever you do on, on one hand side of the equal side you have to do on the other, then I'm, I'm making a valid operation. So this will simplify to 2x, because the 3's cancel out, they become just 0, equals minus 15 minus 3. Well, that's minus 18. And now we're just at a level two, uh, level 1 problem. And you can just multiply both sides of this equation times the reciprocal on the coefficient of 2x. I mean, you could. some people would just say that we're dividing by 2, which is essentially what we're doing. I, I like to always go with the reciprocal because if this 2 was a fraction, it's easier to think about it that way. But either way, you, it, you either multiply by the reciprocal or divide by the number. It's the same thing. So 1 half times 2x, well, that's just 1x. So you get x equals and then minus 18 over 2. And minus 18 over 2, well, that just equals minus 9. Let's do another problem. And, and actually, well, if, if we want to uh, check it, we could say, well, the original problem was 2x plus 3 equals minus 15. So we could say 2 times minus 9 plus 3. 2 times minus 9 is minus 18 plus 3. Well, that's equal to minus 15, which is equal to what the original equation said. So we know it's right. That's, that's the neat thing about algebra. You can always check your work. Let's do another problem. I'm going to put some fractions in this time just to show you that it's, uh, it can get a little, bit, a little bit hairy. So let's say I had minus 1 half x plus 3 fourths is equal to 5 6. So we'll do the same thing. First we just want to get this 3 fourths out of the left hand side of the equation. And, and, and actually if you want to try working this out yourself, you might want to pause the video and then, and then play it once you're ready to see how I do it. But anyway, let me move forward, assuming you haven't paused it. If we want to get rid of this 3 fourths, all we do is we subtract 3 fourths from both sides of this equation. Minus 3 fourths. Well, the left-hand side, the 2 3 fourths will just cancel, and we get minus 1 half x equals. And then on the right-hand side, we just have to do this. We have to do this fraction addition or fraction subtraction. So the least common multiple of 6 and 4 is 12. So that becomes 5 over 6 is 10 over 12, minus 3 over 4 is uh, 9 over 12. So we get minus one half x is equal to is equal to one twelfth. Hopefully, I didn't make a mistake over here. And if that step confused you, I went a little fast. Um, you might just want to review the, the adding and subtraction of, of fractions. So going back to where we were. So now all we have to do is well, the coefficient on the x term is minus one half, and this is now a level one problem. So to solve for x, we just multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this minus one half x. And that's minus 2 over 1 times minus 1 half x on that side. And then that's times minus 2, minus 2 over 1. The left-hand side, and you're used to this by now, simplifies to x. The right-hand side becomes minus 2 over 12. And we could simplify that further to minus 1 over 6. Well, let's check that just to make sure we did the right, uh, uh, we, we got it right. OK, so let's try to remember that. Minus 1 over 6. And so the original problem was 
minus 1 half x, so here we can substitute the minus 1 over 6, plus 3 fourths. I just wrote only the left hand side of the original problem. So minus 1 half times minus 1 6, well that's positive 1 over 12 plus 3 fourths. Well, that's the same thing as 12, the 1 stays the same, plus 9. 1 plus 9 is 10 over 12. And that is equal to 5 over 6, which is what our original problem was. Our original problem was this, this stuff I wrote later. So it's 5, 6. So the problem checks out. So hopefully you're now ready to uh, try some level 2 problems on your own. Um, I might add some other example problems. but. The, the only extra step here relative to level one problems is you'll have this constant term that you need to add or subtract from both sides of this equation and you essentially turn it into a level one problem. Have fun.